Well, you know, there used to be a lot of evidence on uh, the internet that Walmart strong arm corporations into moving their operations uh, to China, specifically Shenzhen. Um, this is more along the lines of, uh, I want to say, 10, 11 years ago, um, before I was uh, laid off from my reporting job in Sheboygan, but uh, I routinely quoted a lot of these sources uh, and stories whenever there was a factory closing. Um, but uh, there was one really good uh, video in which uh, former Walmart uh, price negotiators um, talked about uh, their strong arm tactics with uh, uh, companies in the United States, how they would, you know, say, well, we're only going to pay this much for X product. <clears throat> the company would say, we can't do it for that. Walmart would uh, say, well, here's how you do it. You close down your factory in uh, hometown USA and you open up a new one in uh, China where have to pay nearly the amount in wages. Um, unfortunately, I can't find that. I think a lot of the information, uh, those reports back then, for a lack of a better term, it just fell off the internet. Um, there might be some stuff out there. I don't know. Um, it's just something that, uh, well, basically about you know it, it, the topic had been worn out but it was pretty widely reported uh, back around 2005 you know in the year in a few years before then and the years after that uh, but now you don't hear anything about it but uh, at one time the uh, strong arm movements of Walmart were well documented in the media, uh, particularly I think by uh, National Public Radio, NPR, which still has uh, some things online about Walmart, although I don't think there are anything about the uh, strong arm tactics and getting uh, U.S. manufacturing overseas. It's more along the lines of the um, effects on, at that time, the effects on uh, local businesses, but uh, I still mean 